You have to look at the meditation book, we have all this here from the meditation book. The timeless reality, these are maqams of light and the Muhammadan light. Any, anytime the, the only reason you draw near to awliya and only thing that made somebody to be a awliya was the abundance of the Muhammadan light within them because from oceans of tawheed that the oneness of Allah and the uniqueness of Sayyidina Muhammad so ashiqeen, the love that they have is what Allah wants people to draw near to them. So then these ashiqeen when they pass away their light is more emanating upon this earth. And these are pockets of lights and pockets and fountains and oasises of realities. Anyone who sits in that oasis, makes their salawats in that oasis, prays inside that oasis, eat and drink and, and receive the shifa and healing from that oasis has immense, immense realities. And I think in the meditation time this reality we talked about that in greater depth because of that's the reality of light that when you enter into this light you're entering into a paradise because these are souls who open their paradise reality. Once you enter into paradise Prophet described anyone who enters into paradise the rule of paradise is they can never leave. What does that mean? So the one whom they operate from their soul means their paradise reality is out. As soon as you enter into the reality of the shaykhs living and past, you've entered into their paradise. A portion of you must always stay in the presence of the shaykh and this is a reality from the world of light. You must see yourself like a light but trillions of cells of light. Do you think when you come in the presence of a shaykh and is operating from their soul, from their paradise reality that you're going to take all your light back? No, that light is always in their presence, always in their light and as a result of your light being in their ocean of light is continuously being dressed by its realities, blessed by those realities. And whatever dress Allah dressing upon the soul of the shaykh from his shaykhs, from his shaykhs all the way up to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad then is dressing upon those lights. And that one atom of light is enough to receive that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Tajalli and send to the entire being and that, that has to do with the realities of light. The part is, is, is the same as the whole, the small, the macro is the si the micro is the same as the macro that one piece of a reality contains all the power of the full reality. So it has immense, immense realities of light. And that's why shaitan is so adamant to stop people from visi visiting holy people. They can visit physically, they can visit through the video, they can visit through their meditation. And that was in the whole subjects of the portals and the doors of, of paradise, one way of understanding for a younger generation of a circle of zikr is a circle of paradise that may not open too much understanding for people because they don't know what paradise is. But now they know scientifically portals of energy. So Prophet was describing portals of energy. As soon as you sit for the zikr there's an energy portal and a dimension opening. And that's what the hadith described that there's angels all around that portal 
all the way up to the throne of Ar-Rahman, receiving emanations from Divine the Presence and all burdens being taken up. So then imagine every maqam is a portal and if you meditate and contemplate and become a selfless person and enter into these maqams you can move through time and space and that's the purpose of training and that's what these people are trying to build upon this earth. The jinn have them in many places so now they're finding through ancient archaeology, oh this is an opening, this is an opening, this is an opening because this is the jinn world that they open different places that enter into a different dimension. Bala gave that in Islam that the circles of zikrs are paradise. The Medina to Munawwara from Rosa Sharif to the minbar of Sayyidina Muhammad is a portal of paradise. So all of these hadiths were describing we call scientifically now portals of paradise, portals of light because there's an abundant frequency of energy and not energy from machines of jinns and from people but from angels. And because of the angelic realm there's a frequency that people are not understanding unless they are the people of tafakkur because they fine tune their heart to feel frequencies and energies. And that's why Allah describes, none will know it but the people of tafakkur. Says, everything is praising me, yusabbihu wa bihamdi, but none of you know it except these people of tafakkur because they hear frequencies, they feel the vibration of frequencies, they fine-tune their heart and all their senses to be sensitive to energy, inshaAllah. So you have to get the timeless reality, you have to read these books and these teachings and then ask deep questions based on the teachings. But don't use this time to ask basic questions because then the more advanced people are saying, well we're not getting any of the advanced teaching. Those things that you could ask that are already in the book, get the book so that the ones whom studied it they can go deeper into these subjects, into these realities. Last week they were very deep subjects, I'm surprised if nobody's asking about that. And check TikTok, check your emails, everything, inshaAllah. Mm. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Can you please share us more about Sidna Zainab salam's immense realities? We did already all that, we talked everything on the immense realities. That was her tajalli that was coming, describing that love and that ishq, <coughs> inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi, uh, have a question related to energy like hijama or acupuncture, dry needle therapy, body massage, does it help to reduce bad energy? If yes then how can we do the treatments? No, yeah, no. Playing, playing around too much with your body and other people is, is never a good idea. So anything you can do by yourself with your meditation connection, no problem. When you want to lend yourself into other people's hands that's a variable that completely out of control. So that who's going to do it, what they're going to do, how are they going to open the energy and if it's fasiq or corrupt person do they do things that are inappropriate, the energy is inappropriate. So it's, it's a Pandora's box of stay away from. So they have never talked on that subject Mawlana Shaykh to do any of these things and was never advised. On hijama it's a sunnah but then at the same time in these day and this age you have to find somebody that has a strong Ahl Sunnah belief and that they do the hijama and they're correct and everything is, is done correctly. And not just to go to, to anybody because if they open that energy and then uh, can create problems. 
So hijama is this sunnah and that alhamdulillah has immense support I started doing acupressure and all these other acupuncture and all these other practices then it's a variable of who's doing it and are they trained in tariqah ways of doing it. And if you just sit with you know somebody of a different faith doing your energy well they're going to think, oh this energy has to be changed that why your energy is like this because they're on a different system. So it's best people master. Because everyone's looking for McDonald's spirituality. What can I do with five bucks and get a whole meal and do nothing? They want something quick and really fast but spirituality is not like that. And that's why the whole practice is you gotta sit, you gotta meditate, you gotta connect and you have the foundation of everything is a strong connection with the shaykhs. That you sit and meditate and in your closed eyes and in your heart they're right in front of you. And with all your faith they're right in front of you. And every verse of Qur'an you read, read as if Allah doesn't care for this dunya, right? Ittaqullah Allah is describing, have a consciousness, وَقُنُوا مَا sadiqeen And keep the company of truthful servants. If Allah doesn't care for the physical because Allah says, I don't care for this dunya like the weight of a mosquito wing. So what is Allah making reference to in keeping the company of sadiqeen means that keep the company spiritually in the world of souls, in the world of light. Means then train in the world of light that which is eternal. That connection that you make with your soul and your heart is a connection that's eternal. That then will begin to answer all these questions that I need to connect. Once I connect the energy is flowing, I feel the energy connecting. Then I'm not in need of all of these other things because then I don't want to make the connection, I don't want to spend the time. So maybe I can do these other things and I'll begin to feel things and see things and that's not how it's going to work. If the strong connection is not there anything else that we do actually can open up different problems. different energies, different vibrations that people can't fix and can't take it off and start having pain and having other issues that they can't take away. So the most important energy is to make the connection, make the connection, make the connection, inshaAllah. Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yasifu wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen wa Hamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen illa sharafi Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi sahbihi kiram awlam shaykhina fi tariqatina ashbaliyyat al aliyya wa sayru wa sadatina wa siddiqina al fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.